And Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakumicha is now accusing cartels in government of sponsoring the ongoing doctor's strike, which entered its 10th day countrywide. This as over 200 doctors drawn from the Mount Kenya region vowed to down their tools and extend the ongoing industrial action until their demands are met. Seth Olali with the latest update on the medics strike and its impact on innocent patients. The leadership of the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union, KMPDU, rallied over 200 doctors from Neri, Kirinaga, Kiambu, Nandarwa and Muranga counties in joining the ongoing doctor strike which marked its 10th day countrywide. <laughs> The medics, while attending the annual general meeting for the KMPDU Central Branch in Kirinaga County, vowed to extend the industrial action until the demands are fulfilled. The doctors have reaffirmed and reinforced their commitments to stay on the strike. Today is day 10, and we are not afraid to go to day 100, we are not afraid to go to day 200. We are afraid to go to the 300 as long as the CBA is implemented. The Kenya Obstetrical and Gynecological Society has warned of a looming healthcare disaster in the country if the government fails to honor the 2017 collective bargaining agreement. As it is today, our what we call maternal mortality rates, that is how many women die out of every 100,000 women who uh, deliver uh, live births, is a very high number, it's about 355. But even as doctors stay put, Health CS Susan Nakumicha, who was in Transoya County, blamed the wars surrounding the health sector, including the ongoing doctor strike on cartels in government. Sai mimi nimefanya kazi afya mpaka kuna watu wamenionea wivu wameanza kuleta nyenyenye. Lakini mimi nataka kuhakikishia kwamba mimi sasa hii watu wameona vile napanga kazi yangu. Wale wezi walikuwa Kemsa nimejua ndio wanasponsor maneno yengine. Wale watu walikuwa naiba NHF ndio wanasponsor mambo yengine. With no end in sight and failed talks between the government and medics, it appears patients seeking services in public hospitals will continue to suffer. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.